When we hear about all these rapes and horrible things going on in the seminaries of all places, we just want to scream and pull our hair out and cry no. And when we see especially the Pope and the bishops covering it up or being a part of it, especially these bishops, we want to scream and pull our hair out. But I'm telling you to these abused people, especially the seminarians where you're looking for God and you end up getting raped, that that is totally wrong, that is not of God, and that Our Lady has experienced all the martyrdoms of the world. So you really don't have to feel embarrassed because she has felt your pain times 10 billion in her heart and also in her body she's felt the pain because she really is the queen of martyrs and that's not a joke people she has felt so many martyrdoms especially all these abortions do you think she doesn't feel those kids getting murdered in the womb she feels it and she is the queen of martyrs and she also has to be in attendance for all these abortions and all these rapes that have gone throughout the world in the whole time. So I would say to all those seminarians who feel ashamed and belittled by these apostate quote unquote men of false falsity who aren't pre practicing, not practicing and not preaching and probably ended up towards you know where unless by some miracle that you don't hide and that you don't feel ashamed and uh, just uh, don't I know this is hard but don't try to let it consume you don't let it bur push you down and burn down your spirit of what how God made you and so what if people don't think as highly of you because of this experience so what uh, don't hide. I would use your name even stronger. What's the body of Christ? I mean, look how many people who aren't even Catholic have been raped and kidnapped even. I think there's one lady named Elizabeth Smart. And she does talks now publicly. And I would encourage you in a Catholic way to do the same. Do not hide. Do not push your light under a bushel because God has given you joy everlasting joy in your heart don't let this one evil weigh you down